Today's Two Minutes of Science is all about what happens when you get water on circuit boards. Now, this particular circuit board is one that was in a transformer that was supposed to handle some meteor lights, uh, Christmas lights, and uh, I put this outside uh, with a baggie on top of it to help make sure that it didn't get water in it, but the water seeped through through uh, capillary effects and got all over the circuit board. Now, the circuits were out there for days, so they had a chance to get a lot of water to come in and then to dry off. So you can see the corrosive effects that the water has and the white residue that's surrounding most of the components. Now since this was rainwater that accumulated here, I'm going to add a little bit of acid to the circuit boards to confirm whether or not this is a calcified buildup, a mineral buildup, and uh, hydrochloric acid that I'm using here will eat away the calcium if that's what it is, and that is what it looks like considering the reaction that takes place when the acid is added to the circuit board. You can see that the etching stays pretty much intact, but wherever the white stuff is, the calcium deposit, the acid attacks it. So much of the issue with why these circuit boards don't work has to do with how the calcified deposits, bridge connections... Thank <laughs> you.